dear students continuing here uh, with uh, animal reproduction we are now left with the topic of male and female reproductive systems hope you have understood the basic concepts in this chapter the main topics we have covered and the fertilization we have covered reproduction types of uh, reproduction types of fertilization we have covered the metamorphosis and now today i will give you some glimpse of the male and female reproductive systems as per as female reproductive system uh, here we are concerned uh, with the reproductive system of humans uh, female reproductive system this is the outline of the female reproductive system female reproductive system consists of different parts different organs are there in the female reproductive system human female reproductive system this diagram shows clearly the um, the human reproductive and this female reproductive tract now i will explain it one by one the main organs of female reproductive system are ovaries ovaries are here this and this this is right ovary and this is the left ovary these are the fallopian tubes these tube like structures are the fallopian tubes and this is the uterus uterus is also called in english terms it's called as womb and in the science it's called as uterus and these are the outer reproductive parts outer genitalia now external genitalia also now i will explain one by one ovaries ovaries are the primary reproductive organs of the female where the ova are produced egg cells are produced as discussed earlier here the females produce oh, um, the oh, um, females have uh, primary reproductive organs as ovaries and they produce egg cells these are this is the location of the ovaries inside our body and then it is connected with uh, Mm, it's connected with the fallopian tubes towards the uterus mm, between the uterus and the ovaries is a tube like structure that is called as a fallopian tube or they are also called as ovi ducts mm. now the third part and the mm, very important part that's called as the uterus uterus is uh, the place where actually mm, this mm, embryo develops and this is the part where the embryo develops where the implantation occurs now the con the concept of fertilization we have read that the fusion of male and female gametes in humans the fusion of male and female gametes takes place here this is the site where fertilization occur in humans fallopian tubes or oviducts the part of oviduct that is very close to the ovary uh, is the site where uh, actually the um, this um, fertilization takes place it is called as ampulla of oviduct it's called as ampulla of oviduct means the head part of the oviduct and uh, the sperm which comes from the external genitalia um, has to travel this distance to reach here and then it can fertilize the egg here the egg the egg cell uh, when it fuses with the sperm cell here i have drawn here the fusion occurs then the zygote is formed and uh, the two stages of uh, this division occurs inside the fallopian tube and then this uh, fertilized ova or zygote gets uh, gets implanted in the uterus here it develops into a full fledged organism in the period of 9 months in the period of 9 months the ova this embryo remains inside the this womb and and the period of 9 months is uh, called as gestation period the period from uh, the period zygotic uh, towards its development full organism in humans and the human zygote takes 9 months 
to develop into the full organism and this time this time period is called as gestation period here the gestation period the time taken by a zygote to become a full organism is called as gestation period in humans it's nine months the main organs now you have understood are the ovaries are the fallopian tubes and it's the ut uterus Now here remains the male reproductive system and here also we are concerned with the human male reproductive system. You will draw, I have drawn the structure of, uh, outline of the female reproductive system and you will open your book and you will draw yourself the male reproductive system, the main organs of the male reproductive system. Now, the male reproductive system, it also consists of various organs as was the female reproductive system. For example, primary, uh, primary reproductive organs in males are testes. Uh, testes are uh, the sperm producing site sperms sperms you all you all uh, will be knowing are the uh, male sex cells are the male sex cells testes are the prim primary reproductive organs in uh, males and one important thing about the testes are uh, is that um, they lie I will write they lie outside the male body why testes lie outside the male body because testes need 2 degree or we can write here uh, this way uh, 2 degree lower temperature than rest of the body so they are placed in the scrotum they are placed in the scrotum they lie in the scrotum outside the body our body has 36 degree celsius temperature in the normal range and the testes does not survive at this range and they um, undergo degeneration or some other change in uh, at that temperature and they need to lie outside the body and th these testes produce millions of sperms sperm cells or sperms each day and in this female reproductive system you will remember ovaries only produce one egg cell during one month and in testes you will remember that millions of sperms are produced each day now here is uh, the structure of the sperm cell this is the sperm cell as other cells of our body um, contain the nucleus and all that this also contains this uh, this is the shape this is the shape we have uh, we have learned about uh, the shapes of cell cells are of different shapes and sizes um, now this is the shape of the sperm cell mm -hmm. It has head piece, it has the middle piece, and it has the tail. And the other structures, first, first organ in the male reproductive system was the testis, and the next is the pins. Uh, it lies over the testes. It acts both um, for a passage of sperms and for the passage of urine. And uh, the prostate uh, gland lies below the urinary bladder and stores semen the fluid releases during the sexual act and keeps the sperms lubricated now you have to draw the mm, male reproductive organs on your uh, copy now here you will uh, remember one thing uh, in males and uh, the passage i will write here in males the passage for uh, for urine and sperm is same 
that is pins but in females uh, but in females the passage for um, this these egg cell and urine is different the urine is passed from urinary bladder towards the exterior and um, these egg cells are uh, passed from the uterus towards the outside urinary bladder lies over the uterus over the uterus these are two different structures and now we have completed whole uh, chapter of this reproduction and the material is also lying with already lying with you okay this was all in today's topic hope you will learn and read it carefully so wish you good luck work hard have a fruitful future class dismissed